Well, I think we're live here again. Sorry again for uh, for any audio issues. It's Ryan with Campers In. I'm here at S'more RV Tour. We're at Hershey Park. We're at the, uh, I say world's largest, but America's largest RV show. Last year had 61,000 people. We're expecting that much and more. We're going to have more coaches this year than we've ever had. So come on down. Let's go check out some coaches here with each other. guys so not trying to shortchange anybody i see the campers in staff is uh is doing some training here in the fr3 so i don't want to miss that but let's go take a look at coach watching again it's ryan with campers in rv here with s'more rv tours let's go into a freedom express beautiful coach this is a 324 rl ds I'm a sucker for these seats. Uh, so normally when I'm showing you a coach out on the lot, I don't have power to these things. I should have power here today. They started up the generators. Let's just take a look. No full power quite yet. But uh, if we come back around, we got some power on here. I want to show you guys these seats. Uh, heat, massage. Uh, they got lights in them. Uh, just super comfortable. Uh, I know last year I wasn't live, live YouTubing with you guys. So I was just trying to get a little rest for the show. I don't know if you guys know, like, like our, our sales reps, you know, we're, we're actually working for um, these manufacturers, kind of like the NFL draft. They kind of pick who they want to run their booths and stuff like that. So I'm going to be in the Gretsch booth this year. Uh, Campers Inn is going to be representing Gretsch, uh, Coachman Freedom Express, Work and Play from Coachman. We're going to be doing Independence Trail. We're going to be doing Midwest Class B vans, and we're going to also be doing Phoenix Cruisers. Most of these we've already looked at together here at S'mores RV. So if you haven't watched the videos already, go back and check them out. But this is the 2023 models, the latest, greatest. Okay, so uh, Coachman Freedom Express, they kind of offer two interior choices, and they name them after clouds. We have one's called Storm, and the other one's called Nimbus. This is Nimbus, that lighter color, really makes the coach open up and look nice. And if you're wondering, like, oh, my gosh, does that look like something that's going to be nothing but a big stain? Not true. These are like vinylized, so you know they're kind of stain and tear resistant. We got a nice big dinette here. Holy cow! Do you need a TV? Uh, I got one here. This one, uh, you know, it, it is quite a television. I'm guessing at least 55, maybe 60 inches. Uh, you got your fireplace here underneath. We got solid surface countertops, so these are just really, really nice coaches. This is a Liberty edition, so it's kind of like. Um, well, if you're looking like a GMC, this is like their Denali. So this is the, like the Denali version, but they call it a Liberty Edition. You guys want to check out the bathroom and bedroom? Come on up this way. It wouldn't be a s'more RV tour video if Ryan didn't stand in the shower. Six foot three, fitting in here just fine, you guys. So, and again, we were talking about porcelain toilets. Not sure if the audio was any good, but... Big benefit there, you know, stain resistant, doesn't break down nearly as easy as a PVC toilet. All depends on how you camp, though. There's nothing wrong with a PVC toilet. Um, but if you're going full time, that porcelain may be an advantage to you. So check out all this window space in here. You know, I'm just thinking, like, if I'm parked up by the lake and I got a good view, holy cow, who would want to wake up next to that? Lots of space here underneath. We got another space here for the television. Oh, check this out. This is one of my favorite features. And again, watch 2023. They changed it on me. We're live, so uh, if I make a mistake, you're going to watch me do it live. But there should be a little hamper in here. Oh yeah, check this out. So this again, you can open this up. You got your dirty socks. Toss them right in there. When you're done, close it up. Good to go. We got all this extra space in here for wardrobe. And in fact, check this out. Look at this. They put a little uh, little hatch door in here, so you don't even have to open this up if you don't want to. Just throw that stuff down in there. Super nice. All right. You guys want to go check out some more stuff? Let's go on down. Guys, let's check out this uh, work and play. And if you guys don't have these solid steps on your camper, you can add them to the camper. They are so nice. I'm a big guy. When I get into my coach, I drive uh, kind of like, um, 
uh, what do I want to say, uh, like Cousin Eddie's uh, coach looks better than mine. Uh, but that's okay. We live? We live. We live. <laughs> Who's got two thumbs in his Hershey Park happy? This guy right here. And I'm out on the party deck just to even make it even better. So this toy hauler, when you're not using this ramp to get your toys in and out, golf cart, Harley, whatever it is that you're taking along, put it on the party deck. It's kind of nice to have. The other thing is, too, there's a magnetic bug shield. In fact, it's right here. Let me grab it for us. All right. And I'm not going to put it all up for you guys, but while we're here together, see these little magnets like this right here? Check it out. Sticks on there, and it sticks tight. So if you want to get that fresh breeze, all that stuff, and you don't want to bite every bug in the campground into your camper, that's a great way to do it. You have your Happy Jack bed above here, so... These benches will fold out. You got a table in between here. It uses it as your dinette. These benches will also fold flat, so it's basically like a clean bunk bed. You got your Happy Jack bed up top here, and the benches that fold make a bed down there. Again, this will drop down so that you don't have to really climb up top. We got our ladder there for the upper bunk, but we also have a ladder here for the rear of the uh, coach. So that when you open up this deck, we're not going to open up too much because we got a nice Dynamax uh, uh, vehicle in front of us. But we can open this up here, and we got our nice little steps that uh, if you want to go in and out of your coach that way, you can. All right. So I'm I'm told we got some watchers today. I'm really glad. Thank you guys for tuning in with us here in S'mores RV Tours. One other thing I'm going to show you on this work and play is you're going to see we have D rings down each one of these. They are rated for 2,500 pounds, and they are actually tied into to three steel I-beams that go down the center of this coach. So just really strong. If you needed to add more tie-downs, you can, uh, so that those snowmobiles, whatever it is you're taking, you can tie it down and secure it safely. Nice big refrigerator in here as well. Television. Check this out. Look at this enormous uh, residential style uh, shower in here. And again, you guys, these have not been set up, prepped, or anything like that. You guys are getting the first sneak peeks at all this stuff. And one thing I can really appreciate with work and play, other than... Other than all the manufacturing perks that they do in here... Other than one coach, they always have that king-size bed. King-size bed in a camper. Man, you spend all day. You're out biking, hiking, kayaking. Shoot, you might have just been sitting around the fire having a, uh, an adult beverage all afternoon. When it comes time for bed, you got the king treatment. Beautiful. All right. Let's stay Hershey Park happy. It's more RV tours. Let's go jump and see a couple more. Okay, you guys, we got uh, four displays here. I have Gretsch. I have Midwest Class. Those are both my Class B vans. I'm going to have Phoenix Cruiser, which is a B-plus van. And then right now, we're in all of our trailers. We're going to have uh, Freedom Express, which we've already seen. We've done some work and play that we just left out of. Some of the Independence Trail, probably the audio wasn't real good on that. We might come back and revisit that. And some of the FR3 Class A motorhomes we have here as well. We're going to keep moving. We're going to try to view as much as possible here over the next, uh, what time is it? Uh, we got like 11.35 or so. So we got uh, about another hour and, I don't know, almost 25 minutes. So we're going to have a lot of fun, you guys. Come on down. So it looks like they didn't even put the ramp down on that. Let's uh, let's do it real quick. You know, I mean, there there might be a reason. I might open this up and find uh, there there was you know sort of a live gorilla in there or something. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Maybe my uh, maybe my master key is not so masterful. Oh, there it goes. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah. And these are so easy to put down. You guys, like I may look like a big burly guy, but I can call this down like a little little high school girl. We're small operation. We're small and mighty. Here we go. All right, you guys, we're live again. Like I said, I'm so sorry for the technical difficulties. It is not us, I can promise you that. It may be cell phone service, could be YouTube. I don't know, but I'm still here having fun with you guys. So I don't know if you saw my little girly arms putting down this uh, this bench or this end here, but let's, uh, let's 
do this. I'm going to show you guys how to put this deck out. So we put the deck down. Now let's put the party deck out. This is so simple. I can tell you from dealing with other brands, they're kind of a pain to put up and down. These are so, and I'm saying so simple and so easy. You watch me struggle a little bit. But really, it's just because they're brand new. They probably only had this deck out maybe once just during the quality assurance checks. Look at that. Deck's out. You know what that means? Party time. <laughs> Let me come around the corner here. Let's go on inside. Okay. Let me show you some of the good stuff in here. So we were talking about the flooring in these working plays. If you take a look, these are all, they, they look like little coins and stuff on here. This is congolium. It's like linoleum is just thicker than a snicker. They don't want it to be able to tear and those kinds of things. And my rep tells me, take a Sharpie and write on it and then wipe it off. I kind of refuse to do that in a brand new coach, but it is supposed to be uh, stain resistant. Okay. So come on up in here. I want to show you something new for 2023 I'm recognizing. If you guys don't know, you know, you probably figured it out if you're here watching with us live. We are 100% live. I am, um, I'm just like uh, everybody else put my pants on the same way, and I'm discovering some of this stuff for the first time, just like you guys. But check this out. We got a new diamond weave pattern on these Euro chairs. Man, they were really nice before, but now they are really sharp looking. So you get that little bit extra, you know, panache or whatever you want to call it. 12-volt refrigerator, 10.7 cubic feet. I mean, snack much? I mean, you're not going to lack for anything. Oh, hey, let me show you this. This is kind of cool. So uh, right where uh, Jenny, my camera lady, my YouTube uh, s'mores RV lady, where she was standing, everybody thinks this is like some escape hatch. And, I mean, I guess it could be. But no, really, the reason that you have this is you have this wall here. It's a slide. So if you need to lock the tire in on your golf cart or something like that, you can have this slide in. You can put this piece of flooring up and it's not affecting you, your ability to put a vehicle in here, okay? So, um, but again, you know, people are, what, what is that? You know I mean? When the slide's out, it, it is almost like an escape hatch. I would not recommend doing it. It looks like a great way to scratch your back. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, come on out. I mean, I think this one's even a bigger shower than the last one we're in. Let's just take a look. Let's open it up looks i mean significant look how tall these ceilings are too you know if you have that side by side it's gonna fit in here you know i mean unless you got one that's really really tall they put the biggest toilets that they can make in an rv is in these as well look at all the storage for like linens and whatever else you want to keep in here toiletries those kinds of things and again I love the work and play. All, all the models, except for their very smallest one, has a king size bed. And uh, look, we got outlets, USB outlets on both ends. Oh, check this out. There's a little hiding door over here. Check this out. Oh, look. We got it in the closet. It's just a pass through, uh, so you don't have to walk through the bathroom to get into the bedroom. Isn't that nice? Come on with me. We got a lot to look at, you guys. Thanks for joining me today on YouTube Live. We're going to be uh, probably trimming some of this down just so that uh, it's a little bit more condensed. But thank you for everybody that's here with me live today. Uh, I do apologize. I'm not able to see the comments as live as what I could. Uh, we're small but mighty. But if there is something that you guys are really like looking for, please let us know, let us know, let us know. And uh, I will do my best. If I don't have it today, I will get it for you and show it to you. Check out these handsome guys in orange. We got some more campers in RV staff coming through here. We got Albright that's keeping our campers looking right. So uh, we got 200 viewers right now on live stream. Okay, you guys, I didn't open up my Christmas presents early. I'm sorry we went down. We're back live again. Anybody want to see what's inside? I know I do. Come on, let's check it out. <laughs> All right, you guys, dang. I hope uh, I hope you uh, you're a tall person or you bring a nice little uh, step stool with you. you. Got a nice sink here, perfect for a guy like me. You know, what I mean, I'm not bending over to chop any vegetables. It's right at the area I want to be working. But uh, for for you shorter men and ladies, uh, you may want a little step stool for for this. Uh, we keep everything G-rated here. Uh, so if you have six packs of water and soda, you want to keep out here so if you're not having traffic in and out while you're tailgating or camping and all that kind of stuff. Super nice feature to have. All this extra storage space. Check this out. 
one of the things I love about Freedom Express is we got this sink right here, but you got a drawer underneath it. We don't want to lose anything. So what they do, they make a little cutout. So you still got all your silverware holders, all that kind of good stuff. So you didn't waste any space, but they still allowed space there for the sink. So uh, you guys want to go inside and take a look? Let's see if this one's got the uh, the storm uh, in interior. That way we can take a look. We saw the Nimbus earlier. Nimbus is that lighter color. Lucky us, we're in storm. Come on up. This is a super nice floor plan, you guys. So you got your nice little uh, sofa over here. I believe it's a high bed. Let's find out. Let's find out together here. Oh, yeah. Definitely a high bed hiding underneath here. But you are really not going to be lacking for sleeping space in this. So check this out. We got one, two, right? You know, maybe you're friendly. You get two people in there. You got the dinette, right? I got small kids. My small kids would fit in there if they if they fought nicely. Check out this, though. Ooh, it's really dark in here, and I don't have any lights. Let's see if I can just... Yep. Let's see it. It's great. Can you guys see me okay? Yep bunk house and again you guys are we're live you guys can't get much more live than this in fact here I'm, well look at this we'll uh we'll get real fancy so you got a nice little sofa underneath here so if you're hanging out on this other side is like you know if you wanted to have like a television in here you got another bunk up here and we got all this storage space on the opposite side of what that um of that uh, kitchen. So again, sorry it's so dark in here. We're gonna move along quickly so that uh, I can show you some more uh, great stuff. Uh, well, let me, oh, check this out too. Pantry space, pantry space, pantry space. If you are a gourmet, this is a great camper for you. If you've got a bunch of kids or a bunch of buddies you can bring along, it's a great camper too. Check out the, uh, everybody walks past this when you first come in, but uh, you're so thankful to have it when you have the camper. I mean, my goodness, if you got one kid that you really don't like, this could be their bedroom. Uh, there's so much space in there, okay? All right. Let's check out the bathroom. And again, man, premium products, premium toilet. Got a wonderful uh, residential surround in here again. Hey, and one thing, too. Let's check this out. So when you're looking at campers... And again, uh, my goal is to give you guys some value here, right? If you come see me at Campers Inn, awesome. If you don't, it's not a big deal. I'm here for some more RV tours as well. So, but when you're looking at campers, when you stand in that shower, right? The reason you want to stand in that shower is, hey, uh, you know, I'm not a small guy, and this shower isn't flexing. Some of these campers won't have any backers or anything like that underneath the shower tray. So when you get in here, crack, 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 and the thing's kind of flexing on you. This is solid, you guys. So, again, it's it's about getting value in your camper, too. Something that's going to last you a long time and uh, perform the way that you want it to, okay? And uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to turn around and we'll show you the bedroom because one thing that Freedom Express does in a lot of their coaches is the vaulted bed. Vaulted bed, check this out. It's all strutted. That's not me. That is uh, the struts up there. So, if you had, like, a laundry basket or something like that. Okay, we're back. All right, you guys, we are back. I am actually hopping on to our live stream just to see if there's any comments, questions that I can answer for you guys. Let's take a look here. We're good. Tell you what, I will check back here in the next uh, couple trailers. And if you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know. I'll check the chat and we'll, we'll chat live, okay? So let's go on. Let's go check out some more trailers, you guys. We've got a lot of stuff to cover. And again, we're still in setup day, you guys. When you guys come out here to visit us uh, tomorrow, it's going to be Wednesday through Sunday that we're going to be here. We're going to have flags up. You know, we're going to be some music. It's going to be a good time, you guys. We're about ready to have a really fun time. I am a sucker for outdoor kitchens. Uh, I just lo I love to live fire cook and all that kind of good stuff. And having the outdoor kitchen uh, certainly speaks to me. I don't know if it speaks to you or not. But let's see here. Uh, my master key was master of the universe. It is not let's try this just sometimes they're just brand new and loopy oh look I, I got it just right let's see here oh mm -hmm. yeah look at this one 
So again, because we're a little smaller of a coach, it's at a more reasonable height, right? Uh, so you've still got your outdoor kitchen. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, that nice little cut out there underneath the sink. So hey, one thing to know about these refrigerators, more often not on these uh, outdoor kitchens, uh, the refrigerator is going to run on only when you're on shore power. So when you're on shore power, that's when uh, these are going to work best for you. Uh, if you do want to load it as you're going down the road, one thing I would recommend is either get it really cold beforehand and it'll lose about four degrees per hour, maybe a little bit more because it's going to be kind of hot in here. But if you get a gallon of water and you freeze it, it loses about one degree per hour. So, you know, if you're traveling an eight hour day, by the time you get to your campsite, eight degrees later, uh, by that frozen gallon of water, now uh, now your, your, your beverages stayed nice and cold for you or anything that you kept in here. And the gallon of water has started to melt as well. So uh, I don't tend to drink a lot of the water in the campground. I'm trying to bring in my own potable water. So that frozen gallon of water goes really good for me. All right, so let's go inside, see what it's got to offer. One thing, if you ever uh, are at the, the campers and you see this little hatch, typically what this is, and I mean, let's just open it up just so we talk about it here real quick. It is just usually an access panel for the uh, 12 volt refrigerator, just so that they can work on it. Hey, uh, fellas, if you're uh, looking to get a nice little diamond ring and you want to hide it for your girl and take it out when you're camping, fits right in here, all right? All right, come on out. Let's go up this way, you guys. Dog leash holder again, so I don't know if you guys heard me earlier. If you don't have a dog, no big deal. This can be a good thing for you, though. So say you got bikes, you got a leash, or not a bikes, or you got a cooler, a grill, those kinds of things that you don't want to get legs and walk away. Don't strap Fido to this. Strap uh, strap your grill to it so it don't leave the campsite. All right, come on up in. Oh, you guys, I love this floor plan. They offer it in two different ways. This is the couple's coach edition. So what they do is they do a nice little Murphy bed here in the front. So this will float down just like this. And down comes the Murphy bed. Down comes this. Now we're ready for bed. Yep. Right? In the bunkhouse version, instead of the entire back of the coach being dedicated to a bathroom, you split it in half, so the half becomes bunk space and the other half becomes a bathroom. But if you don't necessarily need to dedicate to have those bunks, you get a luxury bathroom in this thing. So I'm going to show that to you next. I just want to put this in the lock position uh, just for the next people coming in. you got cup holders and USB on here as well. Love the freestanding table, right? You get to a campground that's got a crummy picnic table or you're doing a feast out. Go to the Express wrap. Hey, how's it going, you guys? We're back live again. <laughs> hey, I didn't want to leave this coach because really the, the piece they resist almost in this thing is the bathroom. So, again, it's it's a little tight because it's, it's you know, I'm a big guy in here and there's really kind of one seater in here. But tons and tons of space. Come on in. So again, huge residential surround uh, uh, bathroom in here. I'm not sorry, bathroom, shower. But hey, check this out around this corner here. Holy closets, Batman. Look at all this hanging space. So, you know, that uh, that bedroom is uh, that Murphy bed. Hey, it's probably not conducive for getting dressed, but this space in here is perfect for it. So again, you know, couples coach. You know, you're probably there with your significant other. You're probably not afraid to uh, get changed in front of each other. But if, uh, if you did bring some guests along, uh, you still have privacy to do so. So tons more to see here at the Hershey RV Show. I'm with some more RV tours. It's Ryan with Campers Inn. I'm located in Hatfield, Pennsylvania. They call us Campers Inn of Philadelphia. Even though I'm not in Philadelphia, I'm in the suburbs. I'm halfway between Allentown and Philadelphia. Come out and see me. Speaking of couples coaches, this is my favorite couples coach that they offer here at Freedom Express. Come on up in. Uh, just such a nice, simple, clean floor plan, you guys. So we're talking interior. They offer two colors. This is the Nimbus, and the other one is called Storm. So you, know, you got a nice little slide here. You got your television up over there. You have a nice little queen bed over here on this side. All kinds of storage for uh, wardrobes and all that kind of good stuff. 
full kitchen galley, and then the bathroom in these things. They're just fantastic. And again, I'm sorry I'm moving kind of quick, you guys, but we have so much stuff to show you guys. I want everybody to get a nice little taste of everything. Thank you, everybody, for uh, for watching. If you have any comments, questions, I'm going to do two more trailers, and I'm going to hop on my phone and answer any questions. So get them in the and get them in the comments now, and uh, and I'll be there to uh, to answer them as best I can. Okay. So let's uh, let's go check out some more coaches, you guys. Tell you what, and I, I don't think our audio was going all that great earlier when we looked at the FR3s. Who wants to see a motorhome? I know I do. Let's go take a look at some of these motorhomes. Come on up this way. All right, you guys, you can see they're doing some training up here with the campers in the staff. Uh, we're going to walk right through them. We're probably going to give some high fives. And... Uh, I'll, uh, if they're not too busy, I'll introduce to you a couple of the friendly faces you're going to see around here. All right, you guys, we're through here. Sorry you guys interrupted. There's uh, 500 people following behind me, believe it or not. So wave, say hello. I'm going to see you guys here at Hershey in the next couple of days. This see is Barry. Jail. See you back in the jail. All right. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get in here. Let's take a look at one of these FR3s. I'll tell you what, before we go in, let's just look at uh, real quick here on the outside, you guys. So, really nice outdoor entertainment area, you guys. There we go. Check it out. So, you got your nice little outdoor entertainment, some speakers out here. Check this out. These are called Rotocast. So, they put weeping wells in here. I'll tell you, one of my favorite things to do is to get a big bag of ice and you throw it in there, throw your soda pops, your juices, those kinds of things in there, and uh, now you got a nice little outdoor uh, cool space that uh, you're not running in and out of the coach to get drinks and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, these will never rot or anything like that. They're they're just they're designed to to withstand that. This is a 30 DS. This is uh, FR3's most popular model. And FR3 is actually one of, is, is the top selling motorhome in the nation. They sell more FR3s than any other gas class A motorhome in the nation. One thing I'll show you here, and I see uh, my, my rep, uh, Barry, uh, he's the one that said, I'll see you back. This is live and we're not even realizing. It. All right, so we're back <laughs> live again. So, guys, I have no idea what's happening on the other side of the screen. I just uh, keep talking until I'm told <laughs> not to. So, uh, but anyways, I was telling you about ice trays. It's really silly. It's really stupid. But when you go to winterize a coach, winterizing an ice maker can be a bit of a hassle sometimes. So these are wonderful to have. They're easy. It just makes life a lot easier in your coach. So just something to be considered if you get there and be like, ah, oh, it doesn't have an ice maker. Well, remember, one, you're camping, but two, if you're living in it full time, I can understand. Maybe I'd want an ice maker, too. I'd, you know, be, be nice to have. But these, just a little, little ice cube tray is going to save you a lot of headache, a lot of hassle. All right, so let's come on back. So we get this one is set up with movie theater seating, so probably not, um, probably not the best choice for sleeping. You know, you want an afternoon open mouth nap, great for that, but uh, probably not good for a good night's sleep. But you do have your dream dinette that'll fold down. That'll sleep a few people, a few kids. Hey, one thing that's really silly, we don't always talk about the devil in the details when we're here at the shows, but this is called a fantastic fan. It moves about 320 cubic feet per second. So in a coach like this, it's going to turn that air over twice per minute. Uh, I'm not hot. Are you hot? It's actually, uh, well, okay, I'm a little hot. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm maybe dripping a little bit. But right now, that fan is off, but I tell you what, I can feel all kinds of great air coming down through there. Uh, it is really nice to have in a camper, and especially close by the stove. You got that pot of spaghetti going. Where's that steam going to go? It's going to go right out there. All right, so let's go back into the bedroom here. Actually, real quick, let me show you a quick trick. So we need some privacy here in the bathroom because it's in the middle of the coach. We can close this. It'll lock into place, right? So now it's private from the bedroom, and we drop this pocket door just like this. And now I have the shower and the toilet to one side, all to myself, completely private. So come on back, you guys. 
Uh, in case anybody doesn't know, the state bird of Pennsylvania is the lanternfly right now, uh, and it is lanternfly season. So if you come here to Hershey, you will see them everywhere. Step on them. Uh, you're, doing, uh, you're doing the environment a favor. So again, FR3s always will have those king-size beds. Just wonderful to have. And again, I've shown before, just a nice little spot that uh, not everybody knows is there. So you need to keep some valuables and stuff. That's a great place to keep it. But I love this cabinet because let's see what's behind. Oh, looky there. Huh? Who doesn't want to do laundry on vacation? I don't. But uh, if I did, you know, well, granted, I have toddlers. We uh, we wash a lot of clothes. So uh, this could actually quite uh, quite be nice to have. So, but uh, just so that you guys are aware, this is a washer and dryer in the same unit. You're not going to do a ton of laundry in there, but uh, it will keep you clean, okay? Dual air conditioners on this as well. We have one dedicated to the bedroom, and we have one dedicated to the main cabin. All right, you guys. We're right on the 11 o'clock hour. I said 11.30 earlier. I uh, can't obviously tell time. Let's. Uh, we're going to go for a little walk. Uh, we're going to look and see some of the other booths around here, but I want to go show you guys some of our Class B vans, and I want to show you guys uh, some uh, Midwest vans. I want to show you some of our Phoenix Cruisers, and while we're walking there, I'm going to check the live chat. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to address them as we walk there, okay? Follow me. All right, so Zeke, I look funny walking sideways. I love it. Uh, you know, I look funny walking in a normal pattern. Uh, so, but thank you, Zeke, for saying that. Uh, we're here having fun, creating free content, showing you a little sneak peek here of the Hershey RV show. Let's just see if I got uh, the most live information here in front of me. Well, I turned you horizontal now, so hopefully that looks better to everybody. I'm going to horizontal, yeah. see if that looks any better for everybody. Yeah, you know, sorry about that. Uh, don't don't worry about it. I'm not going to look great on camera any which way you slice it, but we're not here to see me. We're here to see some RVs, right? Yes. Come on down this way. This will probably give you an idea of how big this is as well. There's about 1,500 campers here right now. And one or two we had over four days. With and we're back. All right, you guys. You can see everybody's kind of working around here. This is Bender and Press Day. Everybody's still setting up. I don't want uh, campers in flags becoming big missiles against all these brand new trees. <laughs> so, you guys, we're walking up right now on the Phoenix Cruiser display. That's where I worked last year. Uh, Keith Kinder uh, is our sales rep, and Tina Cooper. Cooper is also one of our sales reps. We may catch them up here in this area, we may not, but uh, we'll get you those sneak peeks. So one of the things about Phoenix Cruiser is they boast one of the best paint jobs in the industry. Oof. So check Wait. this out. These are vinyl graphics underneath here. It's a full body paint, but they do uh, a triple gel coat on each one of these with wet sanding in between each one. This is just as smooth as a baby's body, okay? And I'll tell you what, the other thing is too, if uh, let's go to the one right behind us here. I want to show you when we're talking about paint. They, uh, they even do the slide boxes, you guys. You know what I mean? The devil's in the details. Uh, let's turn around here. Let's even take a look. I don't know if you guys can see from where you're at, but even with the air conditioner shrouds, they painted the air conditioner shrouds. <laughs> they care. They make a wonderful coach. They run them on Ford chassis, so you're going to be using gasoline, not diesel. But one of the reasons that uh, Phoenix Cruz are so popular is see Oh, we're locked. Uh, hang on, let's see if uh, my magic key will get us in. But one of the beautiful things is, you know, a lot of these customers, they're, they're coming out of the big class A, that glitz and glam, but they want something that uh, maybe both partners can drive. This is a great solution. You get all that glitz and glam, but it's in a much more manageable size. And I'll tell you what, check out this too. They do these aerodynamic like wings on here. So as you're going down the road, it's a lot more uh, aerodynamic going down the road. Low profile cabin here. So if you look at a class C, right, they're maybe a little bit wider. And then this bubble usually a lot of times goes a little bit further over the cap because they're putting a bunk bed up in there. This is uh, going to be purely entertainment, purely fun. 
All right, so let's walk up here. There's a TRX is open. These oh, okay. are kind of rare. If you're looking for one, this may be your only opportunity to get a hold of one. The TRX one on a Ford Transit chassis. We may be in there. Look in there working. Hi, Tina. Hey, Tina, we are live on YouTube. There's about 500 people behind this camera with us right now. So uh, we're just getting a little sneak peek. Uh, so when you guys are here at Hershey, uh, say hello to Tina. And we got Keith right here beside us. And we're going to have uh, three guys here from Campers Inn. Uh, if you guys are interested, you want to talk with me, uh, just let these guys know. They have my number. They'll call me and I'll come up and see you guys. Okay? We're going to move on to another display, but it was really nice to see you guys. You. Looking forward to a wonderful show. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you, you guys. guys. Come on, you guys. Let's go. Uh, so much fun stuff to see here. Yeah. Where do we want to go? Let's go up this way. We've got Flagstaff hanging out in here. Kind of like Rockwood. It's like their sister company. So if you see a Flagstaff you really like, don't buy it. Come see me at Campus in RV, and I'll get you a Rockwood uh, at a better price. I'm teasing. <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> Grand Villa, holy cow, is that not the tallest trailer you've ever seen? Yeah. Look at that thing. We got a Forest River Salem there. No go. There is a lot of really nice stuff. Look at that impression. Again, that's a super tall trailer. I mean, they got the uh, ceilings I probably couldn't touch the top in. Oh, uh, and I'll tell you what, this, this is a bad example. They got fresh baked dog treats over there, but uh, they actually have really good food here. You get sausage, you get peppers, you get yourself some cheesesteaks, some pierogies. Um, you know, Pennsylvania uh, is known for uh, really good food, and we're at Hershey. So uh, when you're done at the RV, uh, show you can always go to Chocolate World and uh, and get your chocolate. Oil, okay, let's come on down this way. I want to show you guys. I have our uh, Red Group uh, Midwest uh, Class B band. We're going to be down this way. Let's take a look and see what they got going on over there. And you guys can see all the activity. Well, in oh, we're back. We're back. Yep. You're live. Okay. All right. All right. We're are live now. I'm scared to say anything. We might not. All right, sorry we're in for dropping in and out area. so much. Maybe we're live again. <laughs> Come on up, you guys. Green carpet means we're over at the Rev Group. And look at this. We got campers in the uh, staff. Like little ants getting everything set up, getting this all taken care of. We've got 500 people on the camera, you guys. So say hi. So check this out. I have 10 Midwest vans for you guys. Uh, and plenty more that we have available and on order. Hey, check it out. They're starting to open some of them up. Who doesn't want to see the newest, latest, and greatest? This is a 2023 Passage MD2. Runs on a uh, Mercedes 170 EXT extended chassis. Come on in, you guys. So I'm going to power it up real quick here for us. And let's get all these. Woo wee! Oh, check this door. out, you guys. Did we drop? Are we no, live? no, no, we're good. Are I we missed live? the door. Oh, I got you. Yeah, so she's checking out this door here. I'll tell you what, while she's on the inside, I'll get on the outside and check this out, right? There we go. Yes. Who doesn't like a nice little screen door, right? And snaps right back up in place. All right, we got uh, vinyl flooring in here. Check out, we got a nice refrigerator these are uh, cabinet doors too these are this is a matte finish but they do a dipping process i've actually been out to this plant out in elkhart indiana uh it takes them about three days to do this cabinetry um but it basically the way it looks now is the way it'll pretty much look forever got solid surface countertops nobody's here with me but i wish i could let you guys feel how heavy this is when you come out and see us uh you can feel it for yourself if you can't uh, come out and see me in hershey this week uh just believe me, it's 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 heavy. Okay, it's the real deal. Induction cooktop here. Uh, their um, their stitching and stuff on these is just absolutely fantastic. They name them all after different uh, types of Mercedes uh, or high end uh, high end uh, luxury vehicles. This is most like the AMG stitching pattern, double stitch pattern, um, and these are all hand stitched. Um, 
one of the things I really like in the Midwest coaches as well is check out the way that they do their bathroom door. Is this just not gorgeous? Wow, no, gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Um, you have a full bathroom surround in here. In fact, it's, uh, let me open it up a little bit more for you just so that we got plenty of room for the camera. So, but if anybody's wondering, this is called a wet bath. Um, it's, it's a little different, right? The toilet's in the same space that your shower's in. So, and in fact, let's do this. So you got your hand washing station and then up here comes your shower. So if you want to shower, if you're short enough, you can obviously stand. Uh, if not, you just sit on the toilet, uh, probably lid down, not lit up, uh, but you know, what a dealer's choice there. Uh, and you get yourself cleaned up, okay? And when you're done, you just close this up. You got your nice little hin hidden hinges there that you can just lock in and then it'll just close like that so that door's not going open. You have struts on all these, keeps all this open. Hey, and one thing that they do to help keep noise down in these coaches, you have soft surfaces against hard surfaces. So when you got something soft, think of a teddy bear against a um, against the kitchen table. It don't make any sound. Same thing here. We got this nice soft leather surface against those dip cabinets. So again, it's just nice and quiet going down the road. Uh, and if I remember correctly, uh, I'd have to double check, but they do make what they call a freedom package. So what the freedom package does is instead of having a propane generator, it is now going to run on lithium batteries. So they have been kind of a rare bird here as of, you know, COVID and all that stuff. But I believe I have several here to show you. Like I said, I have 10 Midwest fans that we're going to be taking a look at. I have six Gretches. I have four uh, Phoenix Cruisers. Actually, I may have four or five or six Phoenix Cruisers. And uh, I bet I have over 25 trailers, 1,500 uh, campers for you to look at the entire week here. We're going to be here Wednesday through Sunday. Um, tons of vendors out here. I'm uh, Ryan with S'more RV Tours. I work for Campers In. I'm going to be at the Gretsch booth. But again, tons and tons and tons of stuff here. I don't know. <laughs> we're live. I kept seeing the same rotate on your phone, but I, I didn't know why. <laughs> hey, we're live again. Sorry, you guys, we're dropping in and out. It is truly uh, not our, not by design. Uh, so, hey, we just left an MD2. I got an MD4 that we're going to take a look at. And really, the big difference is, is hey, you got uh, some extra people you want to come along. Now I got four captain's chairs in the front instead of two. Come on. Oh my goodness. Oh, and you know what? I love this. You know why? Massage seats. Are we dead again? No, 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 we're no. live, we're live. Sorry, okay. I'm shaking my head because it's okay. crazy. All right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, I saw my <laughs> Jenny's shaking her head. I'm thinking, oh man, we dropped out again. Ain't no big deal. You no, know, I couldn't but, believe uh, massage seats. Yeah, <laughs> massage seats. Isn't that really cool? And it's not just for the driver. It is for all uh, four passengers up here in front. And in the rear of the coach, you're still sleeping another three. You're not sleeping. You're still seating another three in the back. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people could ride in this coach comfortably. Let's turn on the battery real quick. And uh, campers in, if anybody's watching, I think I forgot to turn off the battery in the last one. So sorry. Uh, but we do have generators here running everything. So you should be able to get power up real quick. But I just want to turn on some lights for us. Oh, I can get there and press it right. Oh, it says I'm on. I just, maybe I'm not doing something right here. No worries. Oh, look, they got in on the bathroom's lit up. Hey, but check this out for wood options. Is this not gorgeous? And I love that satin look. You know, I mean, they, they make it in the high gloss too, but that's satin. Keep it G rated, but that's just sexy. <laughs> all right, you guys, <laughs> come on. Uh, let's go look at some more Midwest. Let's go look at all the good stuff. Hey, these are called Firefly systems, by the way. And uh, Midwest does them in three spots. They do it here at the, the main control panel. This is how you're going to control your lights. You're going to see how full your tanks are. You're going to be able to control your air conditioners. You're going to be able to control the generator, all that stuff right from here. Uh, they also do one in the front by the driver's uh, steering wheel there. And then there's also one in the very rear of the coach. So say you have it in the bed position, uh, you can still control the lights, those kinds of things, the thermostat, so that uh, you didn't even have to get up out of bed. This is a television, by the way, you guys. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you want to travel like the movie stars, uh, this is a great way to do it, okay? So, and again, I don't think our audio was working really good the last time uh, when we 
Gretsch booth, but check this out. This is another one of those uh, gray blue finishes. Just, just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it seems like it's just kind of a limited run right now. So if you're looking for something different, uh, this is a great way to stand out in the most beautiful way. All right, so let's walk down here. Let's just see if there's anything else that's open. Looks like most everything else is kind of locked up here. Um, Dylan's RV, they're in uh, southern New Jersey. They are a new acquisition here for Campers Inn RV, so they're still staying under that Dylan's name, but they are uh, more of the family here at Campers Inn RV. So you can go to any of our locations. We can service you all across the country. We're all the way out into Arizona and in Wisconsin, North Dakota. We're all up and down the I-81, not I-81, I-95 corridor. Um, there's over 36 stores with new stores coming on every month. So let's, uh, let's go for a walk. Let's go take a look at some of the other good stuff here uh, so that you guys can get a little sneak peek. Other stuff other than what Campers Inn is offering, as I see it, I'll point it out. You guys, I put my pants on the same way that you do. So uh, some of this stuff is I'm finding it out for the first time. Uh, you know, I'm sorry I can't hide my excitement a lot of times. So let's come on out. Let's go see what else kind of good stuff we can find. How you doing? Well, good. Tell you what, let's uh, let's we'll, we'll walk up towards the Gretsch booth again. We're gonna walk by a lot of different displays and stuff. We can talk about them as we go. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're live. Okay, here we go. So hey, check this out. The back of this uh, airstream. Uh, isn't this cool? The whole back end kind of reaches up there. Wow. We got the uh, the dinette here in the back. You know, my biggest. And again, I have cameras in stores that sell airstream. They don't really do any slides or anything like that. So just kind of limited to that box space but kitschy and cool you know what i mean like really 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 cool stuff they do they do command a bit of a price though too so i know me i'm, I'm a little bit of a budget shopper uh, and i'm sure a lot of you guys are too um but it does uh take a nice look to see how the other half lives right come on out let's go uh, let's go see what else we see i said how uh, the other half lives but that's that's very reasonable mm -hmm. you know what i mean that's uh what you're getting So we got Outlaw up here. These tend to be like toy haulers that are motorized. Mm. So, you know, if you, uh, you're you like motocross, motocross guy, you know, you're, you're constantly on the road, this would be a great way to go. Or, hey, you really like four-wheeling? Man, wouldn't that be nice? You don't necessarily even have to have a truck because you already got the vehicle that will do it as well. Gemini. What else we got here? We got Sport Trek, Sonics. So, again, I, I want to give you guys some value. One thing I noticed about these Sonics is take a look at the front of it. That is Phylon. That's a lot of times it's on the front there. And Phylon's great because it, it really doesn't leak or anything like that. But the problem with Phylon is when you mold it down there, it all it wants to do is constantly just go flat again. So one thing just kind of keep an eye out on. Again, you know, I have stores that sell Sonic. They're a great, they're a great uh, great coach. Right, and I sell them used from time to time, but just be be mindful, keep an eye on that front cap to make sure that it's not starting to flatten out on you. Okay, come on up. Let's see what else we can find. We've got road trekking, oh, yeah. or Dodge Promaster oh. chassis. These are rare right now. Dodge Promaster chassis. I have not seen a new one at my store all season. Uh, and it's not for lack of trying. Uh, we certainly like to have them, uh, but uh, they're just kind of a rarity. You know, those chips uh, that uh, are affecting the automobile industry also affect us here in the RV industry. Um, trailers have kind of caught up, but our motorized uh, is still a little slow coming. So if you're in the market for a motorized and you find what you're looking for, grab it because it's not going to be available. Okay, you guys? Let's see here. We've got Hitch RV. Looks like they're going to have some... Uh, Cherokee, they got Garvey Wolf, the Alpha Wolf. I bet they got some Wolf Pumps high in there. <laughs> I think it looks like they got Shasta in there as well. We got Cardinal Cardinals, XLR uh, uh, toy haulers. Those are really cool too. They are massive, uh, massive toy haulers. 
Cousin Eddie. Cousin Eddie. Is that Cousin Eddie? Cousin Eddie, man. <laughs> what do you got coming? Hey, I got 500 people on YouTube. You want to say hi to us real quick? What do you got here for us? <laughs> We're live. <laughs> what do you got for us? My name is Zaina. We're from the RV shop in Newcastle, Delaware. We do full paint and collision repairs on RVs, trailers. Um, All right. So you bang it up. You bring it to her. She gets you fixed up. Winning Eddie, if you visit us. All right. And you have to say Winning Eddie. Is, yes. Oh, a Yeti. I thought you said Winning Eddie. You oh, can win an Eddie. Eddie. You can win an Eddie. Take your picture with Eddie. There you go. <laughs> I gotta get a thumbnail. You wanna get a can thumbnail? I, can here? I take a picture? Yep. Eddie and uh, Ryan. There you go. <laughs> RB Shop. RB Shop and Delaware. All right. All right, you guys. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much, you guys. Thank you. All right, you guys. Come on up here. Let's see what else we got. We got Sunseeker, uh, Class C Motorhomes in there. We got Rogue, Georgetown. Look at that Georgetown. And that thing is gorgeous. Is it not full body paint? You know they use over 20 gallons of paint to get uh, get that coach uh, painted up right. Uh, that's that's incredible. So I'm in my blue shirt today, but uh, if you guys are out, uh, campers in will be in orange. Uh, that's kind of our show gear. Uh, we got the Ford Ranger Sports Coupe. Uh, that's the Ford Ranger Sports Coupe. Uh, that's kind of our show gear. But uh, look, they sell more than orange. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I got motor <laughs> no, on today. We're making I, the I, best I knew, video. I knew the Grand Villa was, so oh, we're live. We're live. We're live. All right, you guys, we're live again, and I'm watered up. You guys don't have to hear my raspy old voice anymore. <laughs> Come on up this way. Oh, hey, look. They're starting to get that graphic. Oh, there we go. Come over here and see what kind of goodies they got for you. Need a golf cart? These guys are selling them. They got some nice golf carts for you. Look at all that. Oh, yeah. It's, it's more than just RVs. It's all about the camping lifestyle. You're going to meet some genuinely nice people here. Uh, oh, look. And they're starting to get some of these campers open for us. Look at all this goodness. Hi, Kelly. How are you? So, look, I got Kelly. Uh, she's going to be here working with me here in Midwest. She's already in uniform, so uh, you'll see me in my uh, my uh, campers in orange. But, hey, check this out. Look, we got a lithium coach here. And you know what? They need a little bit of power. What better way to get it than from their RV? We didn't and you hear that. You're going to hear the, uh, the air blower over there. But there's no sound coming from this generator. Because it is completely silent, we got the lithionic batteries there that are uh, powering this entire coach. Tell you what, even though they got this cord in here, you guys want to take a little peek? I know I do. <laughs> Come on in. Oh, and I wish we guys, you guys had smell o vision. Does it not smell like it smells like a brand new car in here? You know, <laughs> I think that's why uh, I was told that's why a lot of guys like uh, women in leathers because it smells like a brand new truck. You know, <laughs> I'm teasing you guys. Uh, no, but they use uh, they use ultra leather in these uh, Gretsch RVs. Uh, and really, I mean, it's memory foam underneath here. So uh, not only is this your seat, but this is also your bed. Uh, super comfort, you guys. Um, and on this one, because it is a lithium package, they do it. They call it the ion. So this is a Turismo ion. Uh, behind here and underneath here is your battery box. So you lose a lot of that storage space, but you get so much more capabilities when it comes to stealth and uh, and battery length. Uh, Lithionic batteries, they're made in Tampa, Florida. Um, they're really one of the only domestic batteries that you're going to find in most RVs, uh, and they are just uh, a really advanced battery. You can actually use a Bluetooth app. It will give you how many cycles it's gone through. If you want to get really nerdy about batteries, this is the coach for you. Let's, uh, let's walk around and see what else we got here that we can take a look at, you guys. Love these countertops, too. They find out they don't use Corian. They actually use another product, and I can't remember the name of it, but it's from Italy. Um, and the reason that they did that over Corian is the Corian was actually just a little too soft for their liking, so they were able to get a harder surface here for better longevity for you guys. It's sparkly. It is definitely sparkly <laughs> in there. Yeah, here, I'll tell you what. Let's take some out in the light and see if we can get a good sparkle yep. for you all. Gorgeous. Everybody ready for sparkle cam? <laughs> oh, I'm going to rotate oh, a little there bit. We there we go. There we go. And I was talking about that Firefly system. They use the same Firefly system here in the Gretches as well. Um, highly customizable. Um, just a really nice way to control your coach. And you can also, on this one, you can use, uh, is there's an um, application called Mira. Vega Mira, I believe is what it's called. And you can actually connect uh, via Bluetooth and control everything, again, uh, from your phone. So uh, how nice is that? Come on out here. Let's go see what we got going on over here. Look at 
barbecue furniture for us. So if anything, if even if you're not coming to buy an RV from me, come out, chill out for a minute, come get a bottle of water, uh, and uh, just give me a little uh, fist bump or high five. All right, you guys, let's uh, let's walk around here. Let's go see what else we can find. Tell you what, let's walk up here to uh, to the parks because you know what? I bet a lot of you guys watching right now probably already have an RV and you're just here kind of salivating just like I am. But uh, you're gonna need things to support your your current campers. Let's just go up here and see what other offerings that they may offer right now that uh, might be new, different, uh, and fun. But again, vendor day, they're still kind of setting everything up. You can see we were putting together a nice little cute furniture and all that kind of good stuff. Look at this, we got our food vendor row, so you're definitely uh, yes. not gonna go hungry here if you don't want to. And uh, like I said, uh, we're in Hershey Park, get Hershey Park happy. Go see, uh, go to the chocolate bar that people are going to. Uh, and they give you candy at the end of the ride, so uh, you get a ride. We're back, okay? All right, you guys. So I'm sitting down. I am tired, but uh, <laughs> two. Uh, the reason I sat down is uh, these chairs are kind of cool. They actually, uh, they're you can actually uh, turn them on and off because they have heaters in them. So uh, they have a little like 12 volt pack on there that you can charge, recharge, and uh, when you're on a campfire, uh, your front can stay warm, but uh, your, your rear end can stay warm too. Uh, so come on up this way here and see what else we got. Uh, if you want a pillow that uh, looks like a log, uh, we got a log round or a uh, or a real log. Uh, probably be too expensive to put on the fire, but uh, you know, hey, uh, come on up. Let's take a look. See what else we got here. We got some pillows. We got some generators. Forty-five hundred watt generator. Two thousand two hundred watt generator. How you guys doing? Good. 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 We got about 600 people behind us, believe it or not. Hey, Let's get right. a preview of uh, what we got here going on at Hershey. And again, I'm Ryan with uh, S'more RV Tours uh, here with Campers Inn. Just showing you some of the newest, latest, and greatest for the Hershey RV Show. It's 2022. We're going to be here Wednesday through uh, Sunday. Yeah, I don't think so, sir. Hey, we got Ted here. He's going to be working over in our parts hey, department. Man. He works with us here at Campers Inn. Let's <laughs> take a look here. I mean, my goodness, we got everything that you're going to need. Tell you what, let's, uh, you guys want to take, I got about 10 more minutes to spend with y'all. Let's go inside for a second because the Giant Center is just loaded with stuff. You guys want to see some of that? Come on in. We're right close by. Hey, look, this is one of my favorite guys yes. in the industry. What's happening? I love Ed you when you say that. Thank you. Hi. Hey, uh, Ed, uh, we're on live YouTube right now. We got five, five, six hundred people with us, but they're going to watch it over and over. Right. Ed is my representative for work and play. Correct. So if you're in the market for a toy hauler, Ed's our man. Give me a call, shoot me an email, shoot me a text. I'll come over and see you. I'll introduce you, Ed. He's uh, giving out free hugs, okay? And I also, love work and play. It was one of my favorite with that. He and I are I'm shot. there to help during the show, and I'll be there to answer questions. And you know, thank and you. When I'm talking with a customer and they ask me a question, I'm not certain. You know what? I dial up my phone, I call Ed, and he is always Johnny on the spot. Picks up the phone, helps me get through it. I don't pretend to know it all, but this guy does. All right, you guys. Thank you. That's great. Thanks, Ed. I appreciate Good you. We'll see you, we'll see you later. Come on, let's go on inside. Look, we got Chick-fil-A here. Right. What else? We got walking tacos. They're going to do some fireside chats. So, hey, you want to learn more about RV, how to get the best deals, how to get the most out of your rig. This is a great way. It's not just about RV. It's about getting a good education, too. Let's take a look. Oh, they got another air seam up here on the sleigh. Who doesn't want a scooter to go along with this camp? I mean, nothing says uh, camping like scooters, right? <laughs> All right, come on, you guys. Let's go inside. That's Super great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so guys. So welcome to the Giant Center here at Hershey. So around the whole outside here, there's going to be all kinds of goodies. In fact, let's just do a quick loop and see what we can find. How you doing? I'm doing good. Right, looks like we got some wax and shine here. Keep it clean, looking good. Yeah, absolutely. We got some soldier solutions. Looks like we got some t-shirts and hot sauces. We got over here more rides. These are the guys that stretch out our chassis and uh, give us new and upgraded suspensions here for your RV. So a lot of uh, like. Uh, 
different campers are going to use a more ride suspension. So if you have questions about it, you can actually talk with the guys that build it. If you guys are wondering, this is where the Hershey Bears uh, play their ice hockey. Um, there's concerts and stuff here too. So there's definitely more to Hershey than just chocolate. There's great shopping. They obviously got the RV show. Some of the best concerts I've ever been to in this arena here. Let's see here, we've got, uh, got more snacks, we got uh, massaging chairs, right, so you've been at the RV show all day, you got a little tender in the back, you want to get cleaned up, a little, little refresh, it's a good spot to try and test out. How's it going, you guys? Good. Usually they're offering, like, bamboo sheets and uh, air skirting and stuff like that. In fact, I think I may have walked past air skirt. Exclusive. All right, you guys. <laughs> sneak. Okay, live. Sorry, everyone, for losing the signal. We live again? We're live now. Hey, we're still making our way down the stairs. You guys didn't miss much. <laughs> Come on down. So, again, uh, if this isn't an RV show, it could be a basketball arena. It could be an ice hockey rink. Uh, they use this for multiple things. So, but come on down. Let's go see what goodies they got down here for us. Again, they're still setting up, but you guys are getting very first preview of a lot of this stuff. So, let's see here. This, this is camper's in right there. Okay, I, was, <laughs> we got camp, I know we got campers in stuff down here. Look at this. This is all from Ohio traveling. So, if you want to travel out to the Buckeyes, want to travel out to the Buckeye State, they got all kinds of pamphlets here to talk you through it see here. Oh, we got some air purifiers. Some keep it healthy and clean. See here, we got some RV resorts. You guys want to go out camping? They got a good spot for y'all. Let's take a look. Back, hips, knees, and feet. Know your customer, right? You know what I mean? I know I uh, I bought new sneakers for the RV show so that I can uh, be on my feet the whole time. Check out all the campers and stuff again. Say hi, ladies. We've got about 600 people behind us this camera. They're uh, getting their first peeks here at the RV show. So thank you, guys. Looks great. Displays look great, you guys. So again, if you need things for your RV, it looks like we got lots of different options. Let's see here. How you doing? Good. Lippert. Basically, if it's an RV product, it's probably made by Lippert or Camco. Max Air ventilation system. So those are those fantastic fans I was talking about. If you don't have one on your camper, they're not that hard to upgrade to. Um, really makes a good ventilation for your camper. Tell you what, I think this aisle looks a little fuller of uh, product that is fully set up. But again, we're here. You guys are getting very first glimpses of all of this good stuff. Hilton Head, who doesn't yeah, like to go down to the Carolinas. Magna Shades, these are kind of cool too. So uh, they actually clip on the outside of your RV. Uh, Phoenix Cruiser will offer them as an option. Uh, and it just literally, you just put it on the outside. You can see out, but they can't necessarily see in. And it keeps your coach a lot cooler. Okay, so a really cool product. It looks like they have various different options too for graphics and those kinds of things. I've seen where it makes your uh, RV look like it's got its own little face and stuff, so they're, they're kind of cute and cool. Got, uh, oh, we got like some food saver stuff here. B&W trailer hitches. All kinds of additives and fuel additives for your car. So I tell you what, let uh, let me end here with you guys. This is the Hershey RV Show 2022. I will be here Wednesday. The was today's the 12th, or I'm sorry, today's the 13th. So I'll be here the 14th, 15th. I would say Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this week. My name is Ryan. I'm with Campers in RV. This is S'mores RV.